Hi, I'm Marilyn San Clemente of Stamp with Marilyn, and welcome to my creative playground. Um, this afternoon, I'm going to show you the new set um, that is actually on the cover of the mini catalog. And um, let me get this. So I love this set. There's there's a couple of parts to this set. Um, there is the windmill stamp set called Tool of Fields. And then there is a second stamp set called Flowering Tulips. And I'm going to show you both of those today and also how to um, do some of the pieces that are in here. So what's really cool about this is these are another um, 3D and with the flowering tulips you can stamp the tulip image or you can um, color an image and put together a 3D flower. And I'll show you a little bit of that. And then with the tulip field set, so this is called the flowering field suite. Sorry, I should have said that first. And with the tulip field set, it has um, these really cool triangular pieces that you can put together to make what looks like a field of tulips with the windmill in the background. So here's a really good example of that. This is an easel card that actually my group is making tomorrow as part of my new catalog kickoff. And I have stamped this piece with the card that we're making tomorrow. Um, I'm going to show how to stamp it, but we're actually using a piece of the designer paper. But um, I'm going to show you how to stamp that piece now. And it does take some practice. So, and what's the other thing that's really cool about this is this windmill, this windmill does spin. If you use a little brad in the center, you can get that to spin. Okay. So, let me show you that, how to do that. And this set also comes with this really pretty ribbon. It's got this window pane design to it and it's in the evening evergreen and then it has these little butterflies that are really cute they're brass butterflies and they they are sticky so it's just like using a regular um, design so i have a piece of um, paper that's cut into five and a half by four and a quarter and what's really cool is it gives you this piece and what that is is this is, where did my, that is, I'm going to fold this down. So that is this piece that goes across the top. And that's the piece that you start, that you want to start with. So it's going to go across the top, like so. And then you're going to ink this up in different colors and piece it all together to make this field of tulips. So it's really cool. So. What I found about this is you need this big block and what you want to do to get that top piece straight is you want to line this up so that it's even with the top of the block. So you want that to be parallel. Oops. I shouldn't have taken it off because I had it set up that way. Okay, there we go. So um, you could also use the um, the line on your grid paper as well. So if you put the line on the grid paper and then line it up that way, use that to help line it up. So, okay, so let's start with, I've got real red. I'm going to do a different color combination than I did before. And I'm just going to ink this up. Whoops, and before I do that, I'm going to need a wipe because this will get Oops, there we go. Get that wipe ready. Plan ahead a little bit. Okay, so we're going to start with the t um, at the top, or what I'm calling the top of my field. There we go. So there's the red. I'm just going to wipe that off.
Okay. And now, let's... Let's start. I then have purple and I have crushed curry for yellow. And so let's do the yellow next. So what you're going to do is just line this up going all the way down and across. So you just line up this edge, the edge of the stamp with that point. There we go. And then that gives you that little um, path that walks, that goes through the, um, that goes through the field. I guess the tulip farm. There we go. Like that. Just takes a little practice lining it up. So practice on some scrap paper first. Don't use your good card stock. Um, I think it took me four times to get the first one. Okay, and now... Oops, uh-oh. Missed a little spot there. I guess I didn't ink it well. There we go. Okay, and now let's go back to our yellow again. I don't know who designed this, but it's quite... I can't imagine trying to design and get these uh, dimensions right and all that, but I guess that's why I'm not an engineer. Anyway, so I'm going to line that up with the middle. And there we go. So there's my field of tulips minus this. So I guess I would put, oh, maybe I could put the bicycle there or I could put something there to uh, cover that part up. But that is how you work with the tulips to make that field. And as I said, this is one card that I did. And then, let's see. These are the papers that go with this. And as you can see, because I made an easel card, I, we stamped this piece and then we used this sky pattern here for the back side of the easel. And there's that really cute little bicycle. Um, there's the tree. There's this little ridge of daisies that's really cute. Um, and you've got two different windmills. You've got a smaller one and um, a more detailed one. And then there's a couple of little clouds with this. And here is the paper. I have varying sizes because I've done a lot with this hard so um, I've cut a lot of this paper off. <laughs> um, okay so there's this pretty yellow tulips some purple tulips the gorgeous 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 red I think that's my favorite one um, this is a field of tulips with larger tulips and then this is a field of tulips with smaller tulips and then this is a pretty poppy background. And this red is poppy that's in here. Um, it's poppy, petal pink, and I believe also blushing bride. So when we flip it over, there's our clouds. There's a couple of different cloud patterns in different shades. Um, this one has a grid. This one has a cloud. And there's the tulips, another cloud. But as you can see, they're different shades. Here's a purple cloud scene. That looks like a storm. And then there's a pretty yellow, yellow and mango. A lot of mango in that. So that is the paper. And now for the tulip set. Okay, let me grab the tulip set. This set is really cool. So this set has a lot of different um, 
sentiments with it. It also has these pretty leaves and then it has the tulips that you can stamp. So you can stamp the tulip flowers and this is a two part. So you can stamp with a lighter color and then go over it with the darker. And then it does have a really cool pretty stamen in there. Um, and um, again, this is a two part and that's a two part. Um, and this is what the leaves look like when you stamp it. And then when you cut, you've got the outlined images that cut out the stamped pieces. Okay. Um, we've got this really cool tulip outline that cuts this out over here cuts out this border, tulip border, which is really cool. I've got a neat card that I did with that. And then here's a cool background piece. And these are the dies to cut out the flowers. So the way these 3D flowers are made is there's three different flowers. And for each flower, there's a center and I actually think, I, yeah, I think these two centers are the same. This is the third center. Um, but the wrap for each of them is a little bit different. So this is a three piece. So when you cut this out, you're going to fold this around the center of the flower like this. And then you get this layer. And then I used some dimensionals in there and um, got it to layer. And you can kind of fold it back and... Um, Dimensionals are your friend with this set. And then this piece goes with this one. You can kind of match the layers with the piece. So this one goes with this. And so then it folds around and that makes this. You can see this little narrow layer here and then this wider layer. So these tulips, to do these tulips, these are white. And then we used a dauber with petal pink and a combination of petal pink and poppy parade to um, do the flower buds. And then these are all the sentiments that are a part of this set. So this is just a really pretty, I love this paper. And um, I really like this tulip set. I like the windmill set too, but I really, really like the tulip set. There's a lot you can do with the tulip set. Okay, so let me show you a couple of cards. You saw the windmill. Let me put that there. These are the tulips that we're making tomorrow. I'm teaching this class tomorrow as part of my new catalog open house. And um, these are the leaves that you can cut out. And as you can tell, I use Poppy Parade and Petal Pink. And then I did use the butterflies around the tulips, the little brass butterflies. And then this is one that I made using that tulip border and what I did was I layered the border on here. I colored the stems with green and I cut the, you know, I colored the grass in with green and I colored the stems with green. And then I went through and I colored the centers of the tulips with red. And then I, I put this um, windmill in the background and then the clouds. It also has clouds that you can stamp. I did use a piece of white and then I used one of the blending brushes to make the blue sky for this. So, but I thought this was a very striking card. Um, so this is Poppy Parade, Garden Green, and then white. And this piece started white. And then I colored this with pear pizzazz and old olive and colored the stems. And then these are Poppy Parade. I'm sorry, real red. I don't think we have Poppy Parade blends. So, but I used blends on that. So. That is the Flowering Fields suite of product. Um, this is probably my favorite suite um, just because it has so much variety and it's very different from anything that we've had before. And I like that. I like, I like when we have a little bit of variety. Variety is the spice of life. So thanks for checking this out. Oh, that's what I didn't show you. I didn't show you the... Um, dies for the windmill. So here's that edge of tulips, that border of tulips. This is the die that cuts out the detail. 
So when you cut this out, you want to cut this piece out in white, and then this fits over it, and that's the detail piece. This cuts out that smaller windmill image. This cuts out the tree. And there's all these cool pieces that make up a fence. So, um, and that is this little fence right here. And there's the tree. And then there's that little bicycle outline. And um, you can also cut your clouds out, which is what I did on this card. So, lots of useful pieces with this. And um, I do rec highly recommend this suite. I really, really like this suite. So thanks for stopping by, and I will see you again soon. Take care.